Ayo, what is poppin' crossers? In today's video, I'll be going over all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures in the month of March for the Southern Hemisphere, so let's get right into it. So the month of March is finally approaching us, and with this brand new month, we can expect a new set of bugs, fish, and sea creatures to catch for the month. In today's video, I'll be going over all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures for the month of March for the Southern Hemisphere. If you are from the Northern Hemisphere and you want an in-depth guide for all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures this month, make sure you check out the link down below to my other video. If you do want to stay up to date with all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures for every single month in Animal Crossing New Horizons for either the Southern or Northern Hemisphere, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I do post these monthly. Before I hop into the part where I talk about all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures coming to the month of March for the Northern Hemisphere, I quickly want to go over everything that will be leaving at the end of the month. If there's any point in the video where I'm going too fast for your liking, you can pause the screen as all the information will be on the screen for you to see. So here are all the fish, bugs, and sea creatures leaving at the end of the month. So starting off with the fish, we have the crawfish, soft shell turtle, sweet fish, salmon, king salmon, nibble fish, piranha, arowana, dorado, gar, arapaima, saddled bitchard, clownfish, surgeon fish, butterfly fish, puffer fish, blue marlin, ocean sunfish, saw shark, hammerhead shark, great white shark, whale shark and the sucker fish. There's a lot of different things in the end of the month, but they have been out for a little while now, so you should have these already. A lot of these are quite difficult to catch, so if you don't have these already, make sure you try to get them before the month ends. And then as for the bugs leaving at the end of the month, we also have a long list of bugs leaving at the end of the month. So starting off, we have the tiger butterfly, emperor butterfly, agrius butterfly, Raja Brooks birdwing, queen alexandria's birdwing, atlas moth, madagascan sunset moth, grasshopper, walker cicada, pond skater, diving beetle, giant water bug, rosalia batiste beetle, earth boring dung beetle, goliath beetle, rainbow stag, walking leaf, and the mosquito. All of these should be relatively easy to get. There might be a few of them that are harder to get than the others, but for the most part, these are all pretty easy to get. And then we have the sea creatures in the end of the month. So starting off, we have the sea grape, sea urchin, slate pencil urchin, moon jellyfish, gigas giant clam, tiger prawn, horseshoe crab, and the flatworm. The only one that would be a challenge out of all of these to catch is the giant clam. And the only tip I have for that one, since it's really hard to give tips when it comes to catching these sea creatures, is just to simply look out for things that are swimming very fast, since that's the swimming speed for the giant clam. But yeah, those are all the different bugs, fish, and sea creatures leaving at the end of the month. If you don't have any of those, make sure you get them before the month ends, since they won't be around for a while. And next up, I'll go over all the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures this month. So starting off, we have all the brand new fish for the month of March for the Southern Hemisphere. So here we have the pike. The pike sells for 1800 bells at the Nook's Cranny. The location for this is the river. This one has a large shadow size, and this one is available all day around your island. Next up, we have the cherry salmon, which sells for 1000 bells at the Nook's Cranny. The shadow size for this is medium to small. This one can be found at the clifftop river or pond on your island. And this one is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. around your island. And if you're unsure as to what the clifftop river or pond is, on the third or fourth layer on your island, you have to have a pond or a river there for you to be able to catch this fish. And then we have the char, which sells for 30 100 bells at the next cranny. Shallow size for this is medium to small as well. And this one can also be found at the clifftop river or pond on your island. And this one is available all day around your island. And next up, we have the golden trout. This one sells for 15,000 bells at the next cranny. Shallow size for this is medium to small. And this one is also available from the river clifftop on your island. And this one is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. around your island. The golden trout is arguably the hardest fish to catch in the game. The only tip I have for this one is just use a lot of fish bait and eventually you will be able to catch it. This one took me a very long time, but yeah, the only tip I have is just to use a lot of fish bait. And next up we have the salmon. This one sells for 700 bells at the next cranny. Shallow size for this is medium to large, and this one can be found at the river mouth on your island, and this one is available all day around your island. And if you're unsure what the river mouth is, basically on either end of your river, there will be rocks under the water. You can catch any of the river mouth fish from there. Next up, we have the King Salmon, which sells for 1800 bells at the next cranny. This one can also be found at the river mouth on your island. Shadow size for this is huge. And this one is also available all day around your island. Next up, we have the Minion Crab, which sells for 2000 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is a small, and this one can be found at the river on your island. And this one is available from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. around your island. And next up, we have the Surgeon. This one sells for 10,000 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is huge, and you can also find this one from the river mouth on your island. And this one is available all day around your island. And the same thing that I said for the Golden Trout applies to the Sturgeon. This one also took me a very, very long time to catch. The only tip I have is just to use a lot of fish bait. That's it for all the brand new fish this month. Besides the sturgeon and the golden trout, all the rest of these should be relatively easy to get. As for the golden trout and the sturgeon, the only tips I have for those two is just to use a lot of fish bait. And next up, we have all the brand new bugs this month. Starting off, we have the common butterfly. This one sells for 160 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found flying around your island similar to other butterflies, and this one is available from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. around your island. And next up, we have the yellow butterfly. This one sells for also 160 bells at the next cranny, and is also found flying around your island, and is also available from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. around your island. And next up, we have the Monarch Butterfly. This one sells for 140 bells at the next cranny. This one can also be found flying around your island and is also available from 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. around your island. And next up, we have the Cricket. This one can be sold for 130 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on the ground around your island and this one is available from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. And next up, we have the Bell Cricket. This one can be sold for 430 bells at the next cranny. This one can also be found on the ground around your island and this one is available from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. around your island. Next up, we have the Red Dragonfly, which sells for 180 bells at the next cranny. Similar to Butterflies, this one can also be found flying around your island and this one is available from 8 a.m. 7 p.m. around your island. 
next up is the violin beetle which sells for 450 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found on top of tree stumps around your island. So basically once you cut down a tree with the full iron axe, it will leave a stump in the ground and once that stump is there for a while, it will start to spawn different beetles and the violin beetle has a possibility of spawning on top of there. And this one is available all day around your island. And next up is the pill bug which sells for 250 bells at the next cranny. This one can be found when you hit rocks, so basically once you hit a rock, when there's a piece of gold, iron, or clay, or stone that comes out of it, you'll also have a chance of a pill bug or a centipede coming out of it. And simply once it comes out, you can just hit it with your net and you'll be able to catch it. And this one is available from 11pm to 4pm around your island. And finally, we have the centipede. The centipede sells for 300 bells at the next cranny. And just like the pill bug, once you hit a rock, it has a possibility of having a centipede coming out of it. And this one is available from 4pm to 11pm around your island. That's it for all the brand new bugs this month. All of these should be really, really easy to catch. There is no hard bugs to catch this month. Next up, we have all the brand new deep sea creatures this month. So starting off, we have the oyster. This one sells for 2,000 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is a small. This one has a slow swimming speed and is available all day around your island. Next up, we have the turban shell. This one sells for 1,000 bells at the next cranny. Shell size for this is also small. This one also has a slow swimming speed and is also available all day around your island. Next up, we have the Chambered Nautilus, which sells for 1800 bells at the next cranny. This one has a medium shadow size, and this one also has a slow swimming speed, and this one is available from 4pm to 9am around your island. And next up, we have the Umbrella Octopus, which sells for 6000 bells at the next cranny. Shadow size for this is a small. This one has a quick lung lunge swimming speed, and this one is available all day around your island. And finally, we have the Sweet Shrimp, which sells for 1400 bells at the next cranny. This one also has a small shadow size, and also has a slow swimming speed and it's available from 4pm to 9am around your island. That's it for all the brand new sea creatures this month. All these should be relatively easy to get. The only one that you might have a hard time catching is the Umbrella Octopus, but the only tip I have for that one is just look out for quick lung lunges in the water. Since like I said earlier on in the video, I can't really give out tips for sea creatures when it comes to catching them, but yeah, all of these should be relatively easy to catch, maybe besides the Umbrella Octopus. That pretty much sums up today's video. Those are all the different bugs, fish, and sea creatures coming to the month of March for the Santa Hemisphere. If you did find today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like on the video as it does help with the channel quite a bit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.